My name is Robin Young, and I'm the publisher of Orthopedics This Week, and here are the top 10 orthopedic and spine stories for the week of January 23rd, 2023. Oh, of course, our starting at number 10 is our power rankings. We survey 26 of the largest orthopedic and spine suppliers each week. This represents 80% of the suppliers in this $25 billion industry, and we rank the top 10 uh, of those suppliers. So be sure to check out our Power Ranking podcast or go to our website, ryortho.com, and read them for yourself. Number nine this week is Wishbone Medical. This is the Warsaw-based uh, manufacturer of pediatric uh, uh, supplies. They just signed a deal to distribute the Iowa Brace from Bettendorf, Iowa-based, and by the way, great little town right on the Mississippi River, Bettendorf, Iowa-based Clubfoot Solutions for pediatric patients. And we have the details at rwhiteortho.com. Number eight, Randy Teakin's new company, Akron, Ohio-based Next Step Arthropedics, just hired a great sales manager, Scott Maines. He's the new VP of sales. We have all the details about Scott and Arthropedics, spelled with an X, at ryortho.com. Our number seven story this week is the closing of Orthofix's merger with C-Spine. Credit to Orthofix's John Serbosic and C-Spine's Keith Valentine for spotting and then consuming in record time, I might add, this practical yet visionary combination. So apologies to Orthofix Medical's new CEO, but we think this closing is an early Valentine's Day for surgeons, employees, and other stakeholders of these two companies. Number six this week is Zibram Biomed's purchase of our favorite private company, Embody, for $155 million. Last year, Zimmer Biomet spun off its spine and dental business. This year, 2023, we think the opposite, namely acquisitions, not spinoffs, will dominate Zimmer Biomet's headlines. We have Embody, Deal, details at rwhiteortho.com. And coming in at number five is a new study out of Sydney, Australia, which asks the perhaps uh, provocative question to some orthopedics, uh, surgeons, and uh, physicians, at least for sports medicine and uh, extremities, which of the three most popular patella resurfacing implants work best? Is it the onlay, the inlay, or the onlay oval? Ah, the answer naturally is available at ryortho.com. And number four this week is a major multi-center study comparing vertebral body tethering to spine fusion for deformity cases. Notably, lead author made a comment in the study that he was one of the early believers in vertebral body tethering. This study comes out of the HARM study group and the results were that uh, the results basically did not favor tethering. Fascinating study, well worth uh, reading. The details are on the website, ryortho.com. And number three, this week, Tecomet has a new CEO. This is one of the largest, best-run private label orthopedic manufacturers. They've hired Andreas Weller to be the new chief executive officer. He takes the leadership role of a truly venerable OEM manufacturer. And we have his background uh, at RYOrtho. Ortho. And then the number two story this week. This is a foundational infection study from the Rothman Institute in Philadelphia. Rothman, because almost entirely because of Javad Parvizi, he was an orthopedic surgeon the, and director of clinical research at the Rothman. Uh, and he leads what's probably the premier research group studying paraprosthetic joint infections, the causes and treatments. Well, this new study maps the time to infection by specific microbe. Really interesting. Time to infection, or otherwise known as infection positivity, differs significantly depending on which microbe is the principal cause agent. The details of this really consequential study are at ryortho.com. And finally, number one, from the Cleveland Clinic, this quantifies this new study, quantifies mental health's effect on total hip arthroplasty outcomes. I'll summarize this quickly. Mental health is a powerful driver of hip arthroplasty outcomes. Importantly, this new study 
tells you how to use this information to better screen and test your patients. Taking this study as a blueprint for your practice will almost surely, almost surely improve your outcomes. Of course, we have the details at ryortho.com. So for more information on these and a lot of other stories and all the new ones that are coming every day, go to ryortho. Have a great day and thank you all very much.